Hello everyone. Today in this video session we are going to make a very brief summary of the unit 5, the firm and the cost of production within the scope of the course introduction to economics. First of all I would like to go over uh, with the objectives of the unit. Uh, first of all, we are going to focus on the elements of the production process of a firm. And at the end of this unit, you will also be able to understand the total revenue, total cost and profit. You will also be familiar with the relationship among different types of cost. At the end of this unit, you will be able to recognize the shapes of typical cost curves and you will also be able to understand the relationship between the short run and the long run costs. First of all, I would like to start with the elements of the production process. As it's a well-known fact, production is the main and basic economic activity which is defined by the scholars as the process which converts resources which are called inputs or factors of production into new goods and services called outputs over a period of time. And the factors that form a basis for this production process can be the natural resources, labor, capital and entrepreneurship as the basic factors of production. There is also another important element of the production process called production function and it refers to how much output is produced when given amounts of labor and capital are used. Of course there are some important terms referring to the elements of the production process and the first one of these is the total revenue. We can say that the total revenue of a firm is the price times the quantity sold by the firm and we can formalize it as you see on the screen and on my notes. Of course the type of the market has an important role on total revenue because if it's a competitive market the price is given from the firm's perspective and the total revenue increases both in price and quantity whereas in a less competitive market the quantity demanded and the price affect each other inversely. Inversely, So elasticity with respect to price is the key factor in total revenue. As for the definition of the total cost from an economist's point of view, the cost includes not only the explicit expenses you must pay, but also the monetary value of time, effort and other resources you have to give up. The sum of all these costs stated on the formula on your screen is called the economic cost. And we can also say that the total cost increases as more labor and capital is used during the production process. Finally, profit is defined as the difference between total revenue and total cost and the objective of a firm that produces goods or services to sell is to maximize is its profit. It's also important to revise and get familiar with the terminology related with costs during the production process. The first one is the total fixed cost, which refers to the sum of all the fixed costs a firm has to pay for fixed inputs. The second one is the total variable cost, and it's the sum of all variable costs a firm pays for variable costs. And the sum of total fixed cost and total variable cost gives us the total cost. Moreover, the average cost also gives us the cost per unit, whereas the average fixed cost tells the fixed cost per output. On the other hand, the average variable cost measures the variable cost per unit of the output. And finally, we have the marginal cost and it refers to the cost of producing the last unit of output. The marginal cost is important because it gives half the total cost change based on the change in the output. While studying the production and cost relationship, economists usually distinguish between short run and the long run processes. In the short run, the capital is fixed and the firm can only increase labor to increase production, but diminishing return sets in eventually as discussed earlier. However, in the long run, the firm can change the amount of capital it uses as well. When more capital is used for a given amount of labor employed, output will increase. In other words, in the short run, some factors of production cannot be changed, whereas in the long run, it's a time frame in which a firm can adjust the usage of all resources if it deems necessary. 
Finally, it's better to utter a few words for the scale economies. And here we have three important points to refer. The first one is the increasing returns to scale. We can say that when all inputs are raised at the same time by the same percentage, if the output increases more than the percentage increase in inputs, we call this as increasing returns to scale. On the other hand, if the output increases by the same percentage as the increase in all inputs, this is named constant returns to scale. And finally, if the output increases less than the percentage increase in inputs, then these are decreasing returns to scale. In this short summary session, we focused on the elements of the production process of a firm. We also revised the terms total revenue, total cost and profit. We tried to identify the relationship among different types of cost. We also touched upon the relationship between the short run and the long run cost. And finally, we uttered a few words regarding the scale economies. Of course, this is just a summary and it will be a good idea and a better idea to go over all the unit to have a deeper understanding of the firms and the production process.